Hey everybody and happy Tuesday. Um, I know that you guys saw my short earlier about my sugar cane juice that I um, I went and I pre-ordered it. You have to pre-order and you pay and you go pick it up and they fresh press it right after you pay. So you let them know that you want some and they fresh press it and then you let them know when you can pick it up. Um, so what I am going to do is I'm going to make a couple of drinks out of uh, with the sugar cane juice and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. So I have some water on my stove boiling and in my measuring cup I have some hibiscus, dried hibiscus flowers and a sachet of green tea. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some water. That's actually hot. <laughs> I'm going to pour some water in there and let it steep. And it's not going to steep for a very long time, but this is going to be the base for a few of the drinks that I make. And drop that over there again hibiscus flowers and a sachet of green tea there's nothing else in there i'm going to let that steep for a few minutes and um i'm going to add that to my sugar cane juice so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some sugar cane juice in here half sugar cane juice and half of my steeped uh hibiscus tea and then on a few of the other ones, I'm going to put um, a third of my ginger bug and a third of the sugar cane juice. And if I have any of the tea left, a third of the tea. But I know that a few of you asked me about the ginger bug. So the ginger bug is a recipe that I got out of the ball canning guide. And I like this book because I like to ferment as well as water bath can and so this book has a lot of that it does touch on it does touch on um pressure canning but i don't pressure can um so i use most of the book that deals with fermenting and water bath canning let me wash my hands right quick Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to put this away. My hands are kind of wet. So while that steeps, these bottles, I got these from Amazon and they're an eight ounce bottle and it comes with a lid that you snap on and they're reusable. And so when I first get them, what I do is I wash them out and you don't have to let them dry if you're going to use them right away. Um, but if you're not going to use them right away, go ahead, feel free to let them dry. So I have a funnel that I use to put different liquids inside of mostly, I mostly use this for my vanilla. When I make vanilla extract and I'm separating it into smaller containers, move that out of the way. I place it in there. So let's see if we can do this without spilling. And again, guys, I'm not using any sugar because, of course, the I've already tasted this, um, the sugar cane juice and it is sweet. Now, the ginger bug that I was showing you guys that I'm going to be using in a few of the drinks, the ginger bug is a, it's, it has kind of a spicy flavor, so if you have ever... Um, tasted ginger and I know that most of you have most of you that subscribe to my channel and many of the other soil families you grow ginger in your gardens on your farms on your homesteads and um, ginger is an amazing root rhizome um, and it has a spicy flavor so what is actually in this ginger bug is water grated ginger and sugar and what you do is you start off with non-chlorinated water and it's about three cups of non-chlorinated water 
Then you add a tablespoon of sugar and a tablespoon of ginger. And then for four days, you add a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of ginger, stir it, cover it with a cheesecloth and let it sit. Then the next day, another teaspoon of ginger and a teaspoon of sugar. And you do that for four days. And then when those four days are up, then what you're going to do is you're then going to close it. Use, uh, like if you're using your cannon jar, of course, put the lid and the ring on, close it up and let that sit for four days. And you can add it to anything, but again, it does have a little spicy kick. So just FYI. So as you can see, I have the sugar cane juice inside these bottles. I'm going to strain. My hibiscus and green tea, it is now taking on the color of the hibiscus. And again, guys, you don't have to steep this forever. It's just like when you're making your regular tea or like with my daughters, they, um, they enjoy making um, rose water and they use this same method. And they use the rose water on their face as well as their hair. So, And so I'm going to add this to my bottle. You can actually drink the sugarcane juice on its own, and it's good that way, but I like to add it to different things. And so this little bit of tea that I have left, I'm going to hold it back, and I'm going to do one of the bottles with the ginger bug, and then I'll do the rest off camera. But with these bottles, you just press down. And now it's sealed, as you can see. We're going to close these up. And again, they're reusable. So do not put them in a the dishwasher, but hand wash them, dry them. And you can, if you have like big containers of juice and you want to be able to take some juice with you, um, a cheaper way of doing that is to condense it down with these items. So now what I'm going to do is take another container. So I'm going to put the rest of this tea in here. And then I'm going to take this same container or measuring cup, excuse me. And I'm going to strain some of our ginger bug. And the only reason I'm straining it is because the grated ginger that you place in here is unpeeled. Let's pour that. And so this is ours with the ginger bug, the hibiscus tea, and the sugar cane juice. All right, guys, I just wanted to bring you guys along and let you see how I take my sugar cane juice and make it into um, different drinks and how there is so many different uses now for most of us who if we're growing sugarcane in our backyards farms homesteads or what have you we do not grow a big enough crop to warrant purchasing a press and so that is why i purchased the sugarcane juice from the nursery because he grows a crop of sugarcane and it warrants him having a press it makes no sense for me to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on a press and 
I might have 20 starts of sugar cane. You know, it, it just doesn't make any sense. So it is very cost effective for me just to purchase it from my local nursery. And I enjoy purchasing things from a local nursery because one, I'm helping my community out. And two, um, I know what's in it. And I know that this is nothing but fresh pressed sugar cane juice that he strained one time. And whenever I went to purchase it, she let me know that if I wanted to strain it again, that I could, but her husband did strain it one time before. Um, and that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to bring you along while I make my different juices that I'm going to take on the go with me. Um, remember, if you enjoy my content, like, share, and subscribe. And remember, grow your groceries and have faith in your food. I'll see you next time.